Hi, my name is Marco Perez Alvarez. I'm the senior horticulturist here at Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. Uh, it is National Public Gardens Week, so we're going to be taking you around the garden, doing a little bit of a day in your life videos uh, to show you what we do around here, uh, the type of work we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So today we're going to be doing some tree work around the parking lot and the driveways. This is something that we do every six months or so. Uh, it's mostly just to get uh, any dead wood, broken branches, uh, any trees that look hazardous or anything like that, just to make it a little safer for the guests that are walking or driving through. Uh, it's also just to take some of the weight off of the trees so that when hurricane season comes, which is uh, practically already here, uh, there will be uh, as little damage as possible and as little trees uh, falling into the road. Uh, as possible when a, when a hurricane does hit. Uh, right behind me uh, is the, the lift that I use. Um, it goes about 30 feet up in the air. Uh, I have all my equipment here as well in the golf cart. So this is the equipment that I take up with me on the lift. Uh, I just have my uh, steel MS-170 chainsaw that just to, just to use for my the larger branches and stuff like that. Uh, for the smaller stuff, I'll use my uh, just a little handsaw like this. Uh, my helmet, obviously, just for safety. Uh, my harness that I strap myself into on the lift. Uh, gas, obviously, for the chainsaw. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything that I take up with me on the lift. Hi, it's Thursday. It's approximately 9 o'clock in the morning today. Um, Thursdays are the days that we usually have volunteers come in and help us out with various tasks throughout the garden. Uh, right now I am in the picnic area. Uh, we have a project here where we previously had an invasive tree in this area. We removed it and decided to revamp this entire area and put in new plantings. Uh, various uh, different tropical plants, uh, a few natives as well. So the volunteers today are going to be helping us out uh, doing uh, additional planting. We're now in the Fountain Garden. Historically, it was the Rose Garden. And uh, as of 2018, we started reintroducing roses into this garden uh, because in 1926, a, the Great Hurricane of 1926 came in and wiped out a good majority of the property, including the Rose Garden. And none of the roses were planted back in until uh, 2018 when we decided to start uh, reintroducing them. Then uh, the project continued uh, with these additional eight beds around the Sioux Tree Fountain. And then as of 2022, uh, the entire garden has been completed with a total of 30 rose beds and over 300 roses. Uh, we are coming up to the end of their season here in South Florida. When the summer months start to come out, they get a little heat stress. They won't be blooming as much. So drop a majority of their leaves but we still have a few that are in bloom uh, including this rose right here this is uh, Donna 
Uh, it's been doing pretty well this season. Uh, and uh, in a few weeks, we will be amending the soil with compost and adding another layer of mulch uh, just to give it the soil a little bit more of an amendment over the summer months and so that it has a little bit more of a water retaining capacity as well uh, to help the roses uh, get, get through the heat of the summer. Uh, so once a week I come in and I maintain the roses here. The things that I do is I pull the weeds in the beds and I also uh, deadhead all the roses. Deadheading is just uh, basically uh, trimming off all the roses that are spent and that died off. And that's just to promote new growth and new rose shoots to, to come out. So what you want to do is basically you have these three uh, dead roses and bring it down to the last five leaflet leaf set. So you see how this leaflet right here has five leaflets on it. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's just to, it's just a general rule of thumb uh, to bring it down to the healthiest part of the branch so that it has a better chance of coming out with a stronger and uh, more vigorous shoot. So you just take it right up above that node here. Uh, you just trim right up above it. And I'll end up just doing that with this thing higher rows here and it also just reshape it as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And that's pretty much it for this rose. It kind of brought it back to its general shape and uh, within the next few weeks or so you'll start to see new blooms coming out. Volunteers are very important to our operation here in the gardens. Uh, right as of now, we only have a staff of 10. Uh, it may seem like a lot, but with the work that we have on the 10 acre part of the gardens, uh, there's a lot of detail work, a lot of intricate work. Uh, just here in the rose garden alone, there's 300 roses that have to be uh, deadheaded at least once a week. As of now, we're hand watering everything. We'll be uh, installing irrigation within the next month. Uh, but this is actually a very good project for volunteers to come in. They'll, they can weed the beds, they can deadhead, and that takes a lot off of our plate. And we can uh, focus more on other things like designing and new plantings and stuff like that.